Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the last problem of court forces round 928 division 4 which is GLAD and trouble at MIT. So uh, what is the problem? Uh, so this part is not important. Uh, so we, we have in students um, or you can consider the for more pro formal problem statement that we are given in trees, uh, a, a tree with n nodes and uh, each node will be marked as either S or P or C okay so S means that uh, the node uh, the student at the node uh, specific node uh, wants to remain silent and P means the one uh, the student at the node will uh, party or C means that the student does not care now what uh, there are some conditions given that if a node is S or silent then all the nodes connected to this node uh, should be uh, silent also or silent or don't care so let's say is is somehow connected to a uh, party node then is can't re can't remain silent okay so uh, all the all the edges between any two nodes are connected by a thin edge okay so uh, let's say this is our graph 1 2 3 and 4 so initially all the edges are thin edge now let's say this uh, student wants to remain silent and these students uh, want to party then we have to make all the edges as th uh, thick edges so if uh, there is some thick edge then sound will not pass through that edge now uh, what we have to do we have to uh, make minimum number of edges thick in such a way that the all the students that want to remain silent are in silent okay so uh, let's go through the first example so uh, let's go through this example 1 1 that means the second student is connected to the third uh, first node so uh, second student is connected to the first node similarly third student is connected to the first node okay and what are uh, their states so the first students uh, first student one uh, doesn't care so this the state of first node is c the second student uh, wants to remain silent and the third student want to party okay so what what we have to do initially all the all the two these two edges are uh, thin edge so uh, sound could come from the third node to the first node and first node to the second node so we can either make the second node as thick edge so sound will not come from uh, three to one uh, so the second student can remain silent but uh, Another uh, possibility is that we are marking this node, uh, this edge as thick. Then also sound could come from 3 to 1 but could not come from 1 to 2. Okay. So uh, that is one possibility. So the minimum number of edges we have to make thick is 1. So answer will be 1 here. Okay. So I am not going through the other examples. I think you will understand. Now let's discuss about the uh, what are you, observations. So first observation I always make is uh, from the constants. So now uh, the constants on n is 10 to the power 5 and the sum of n is also 10 to the power 5. So the problem is solvable in order of n or order of n log n. Order of n or order of n log n. Okay. So now uh, how we can solve this problem? What will be our approach? Okay. Now uh, the first observation that I made is that let's say uh, two nodes. The first observation let me write it as observation. The first observation I have made that let's say two nodes that are silent and one node is silent and another node is uh, what we can say uh, party so silent and party if they are directly connected s and p are directly connected we have to make that edge thick so if uh, so let's say uh, there are n minus one edges so all the edges where s and p are the uh, two n nodes of the edge then we have to mark those edges as thick so that is the first observation now what is the second observation the second observation here is that if two nodes are all uh, are from same uh, type let's say ss or pp okay ss or pp we are not considering cc here then we can make them uh, thin we can keep them as a thin edges because uh, ss means that these two uh, edges uh, these two nodes are silent and pp means that the, the, both of them are parting so if this is the second observation we can uh, keep them uh, thin edges okay so these are the two observations now uh, so what these two observations give us is that we can merge all the uh, S nodes we can merge all the S nodes uh, and we can merge all the P nodes and this is the first observation let's say mm, our graph is something like C uh, S S S S so we don't really uh, or uh, let's say P 
P P. Okay, so uh, we can merge them, uh, or uh, one better way to interpret this is that let's say uh, we can't, we don't care about these nodes. We don't care about these nodes which are connected to S and not connected to C. Okay, and we don't care about these P, these two P nodes also because they are not connected to C. So we don't care about these nodes and these two nodes. So our graph will only consider C, P, and S. Okay. So this is the third observation that uh, all the S and P nodes that are not connected to C are not important. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, and the first of uh, from the first observation, what we can make is that we will uh, our answer will be uh, obviously all the S and P connected nodes. So uh, I will take all uh, sum up all the S P nodes. Uh, SP edges and I will take them uh, make them separate now after separating them we will have uh, something like uh, some tree C we have some trees of C's okay so we have some trees at C's okay now each um, C each C node will have some property let's call them PC and uh, SC so PC means the number of P nodes the current C node is connected to and SC means the number of S nodes the current C node is connected to. So what we have made the tree, we have uh, converted the tree uh, into different subgraphs or different subtrees you can say and uh, where each node of the tree is C nodes and each node will have two property. One is PC, the number of uh, P nodes that the current node is connected to and SC, the number of S nodes the current node is connected to. Now how we can solve this problem? So uh, what we can do, we can do a recursion or DFS from the any node of the tree, any node of the subtree. We can have multiple subtrees because after we are removing a P node and S nodes, the tree could become disconnected. So uh, for every subtree, we will do some DFS and we will have some parameters. So uh, the parameter of the recursion will be nothing but our node and uh, one flag. So flag means that uh, we are marking the current node as silent, current don't care node as silent or marking don't care node as uh, party. So if flag equals to zero, that means the current node is silent and equals to one means that current node is party. So you can see that this could be either zero or one or you can keep them as S or P. Okay. So node and flag. Okay. So what we will do, we will store... Uh, um, for uh, for better uh, time complexity, we'll also take DP array. So uh, we have we will keep memorization or DP of node comma flag. So uh, what will be the transitions now uh, from DP node comma flag? We can go to any other node or any other uh, connected node. Let's call it J comma. We can go to J comma flag if uh, or we can go to J comma one minus flag or you can say flag bar uh, instead of. Uh, we can take flag bar because flag is a bit. So we, uh, when we are going to the uh, node with same flag, we don't have to do anything. But when we are uh, uh, going to the some node with a different flag, we have to add one because let's say we are uh, going from some sil silent to node to the parting node, we have to make the uh, edge between them as a uh, thick edge. Okay. So I hope you get it. Now. Uh, when we are at some node which is silent, we have to uh, mark all the uh, other connecting parting node uh, as uh, thick edges. Okay. And similarly, when uh, some node is parting, uh, we have to mark all the silent edges, uh, silent nodes connected to them as thick edges. Okay. So let's jump into the code. I think you will understand it better. So uh, uh, here I am uh, making the adjacency list. Uh, and uh, here uh, what I am doing, I am DC will be our uh, don't care nodes, don't care uh, DC is don't, don't care array which will contain all the nodes which we don't care. Now uh, if uh, we are taking uh, some uh, DP array or which will uh, we are doing some recursion where the first I is node and flag is our uh, flag parameter uh, which could be either 0, 1, 0 means it is a silent node or 1 means this is parting node. So if dpi flag is not equals to minus 1, this is a base condition, uh, not base condition, this is a memorization condition, we are returning dpi flag. Now we are taking sc and pc, I have already explained what uh, the number of nodes of s and number of nodes of p category. And uh, uh, so uh, if the, uh, the, the neighbor node is of s, uh, we are incrementing the value of sc. Now, if the neighboring node is a parting uh, category, we are incrementing the value of PC. Now, we are also taking one extra parameter, uh, which is parent. Why we are taking this parameter? 
So uh, let's say we are at some node 1 and we are going to 2. Then two, 1 is also in the adjacency list of 2. So we, uh, in our recursion, we, get, uh, we could come back at 1, which we don't want. That's why we are taking one extra parameter pair. Uh, but we will not uh, be having this pair in our uh, DP array because every node will have only one single parent. Okay, so uh, the, the state uh, does not care about parent because the parent value is constant for every node. Okay, so uh, if J is not equals to pair and uh, mm, or parent, so we are uh, this condition is for silent node. This condition is for uh, parting nodes. So this condition is definitely will be for don't care nodes. So we are doing dpi flag it will be minimum of 1 plus j comma 1 minus flag. 1 minus flag is nothing but flag bar and our parent node will nothing uh, uh, now will be i the current node and we are doing similarly j flag and i. Now if flag equals to equals to 0 that means the our current node will be silent node. Then uh, uh, he, uh, sorry if flag equals to 1 that means our current node will be our parting node. Then uh, all the a, uh, nodes that are connected to this current node and are want to remain silent we have to mark uh, those edges as thick edges that's why we are doing dpi flag plus equals to sc similarly if the current node is silent node so we have to mark all the nodes that are connected to the current node and uh, once to party we have to mark them as uh, uh, those edges as thick edges and at the end we are returning dpi flag here you can see that I, I have taken the condition where uh, two nodes i and j are uh, parting, uh, one is parting and another one is silent. I am uh, taking those answer as separately. Okay, we are incrementing the answer variable separately. And if uh, all the nodes that, that are uh, don't care, we are doing minimum of recursion j comma zero if the current node wants to remain silent or the current, uh, current node wants to remain uh, parting. Okay, and at the end we are printing the answer. I hope you will understand the video and also understand my explanation and the code. If you still have any doubt in any part of the explanation, you can always ask in the comment section. I will try to reply each and every comment. I will also provide the link of the code in the description box. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.